Okay, so this is my very first look at the new lineup of Titleist irons, and I can tell you already that in amongst these four, they could have the iron to beat moving forward right now. So in today's video, I'll be giving you my first thoughts, a first look effectively at these four new irons. It's gonna be on course here at Betsy Coed Golf Club. I'll be talking about all the obvious things. There are in fact four models, T100, T150, T200 and T350. And we'll start off by having a little look at these four models before I tell you what the main differences are and then can I find those out to be true out here on the golf course. That's a great start to the day in terms of the Titleist lineup, but interestingly enough, that is not one of the main irons that we're going to be looking at today. That is, in fact, from the utility lineup, and that will be also tested on course here today, but that is featured in another video. Anyway, back to the main irons. So these four irons, Titleist have aptly characterized um, as the modern tour iron, the faster tour iron, the player's distance iron, and the ultimate game improvement iron. So we can certainly see which category each of those fit into. What I were, want to work out in today's video is, do they ring true? Should they be categorized that way? And more uh, importantly for me, is how would we mix those sets up? Because I think there's a real opportunity to look at a blended set within this Titleist lineup. Do you know what, this place has got to be one of my favorite places to come and play a little bit of golf and test some golf clubs. We've got the water that literally surrounds this golf course at Betsy Coed. Those tree-lined uh, fairways and the backdrops are so, so nice but we're here about the Titleist T lineup of irons. I just want to talk about the way they look because let's start at the bottom, T100. Classic look, very minimalistic in its markings. I would call it a kind of muscle back design. It's not your sort of classic blade where you're just seeing not a lot of meat at all. I think there's enough on there to suggest that it might appeal to a few more players than you would think. Certainly for me, at least. Then you've got that T150. They're no difference, in all honesty. I couldn't tell the difference between the two. There's a slightly bigger profile, and that's about it, really. And then you move up into what is a very different looking set of irons in the T200 and the T350, because they're a very full iron, if you like. I'd be happy with either of these sets of irons in my bag. Titleist has done a fantastic job in uh, making them almost as good to look at as what this golf course is. So for me, in terms of that category element, first of all, I think although there are four different clubs, we've really got two categories. Quite simply, the T100 is obviously that player's tour iron, as you refer it to. Then we've got a uh, just a simply a more forgiving version of the T100. So these are the player's irons, there's no doubt about it. The width of sole, the width of top line, the overall profile definitely puts them into this category. And for me, the obvious thing to do, that's where you're blending those two sets together. And then if I reach back to the other two, it's exactly the same thing. T200, and we'll talk about the way they look in a minute, and T350 are exactly the same thing. They're a bigger and smaller version of each other. So obviously what you're going to expect to see is more forgiveness in that T350 than you're going to get in that T200. There's a lot of numbers to remember here, but effectively we go right down to the bottom, T100, proper player's iron, T350, super forgiving iron, and in between all that, I think we end up with what is two groups of product, and that's where you'd probably look to do the majority of your blending of the set. Anyway, I've got 150 in, I'm going to start off with a T100. Oh, well first of all, that's a real good towering ball flight. Perhaps just come up a little tad short of, well, we've got the 150 marker there, so just a tad short, but a really solid strike. And the first notable thing that brings a smile to me is just how good they felt. Don't forget, this is a T100. This is smaller blade-like style. I thought it looked superb at that address position, to be honest with you. It's not small enough to put the fear of God up here. It certainly doesn't me anyway, and I'm really comfortable with playing that. Their profile is really good. Very minimal offset. We've got a very straight ball flight, and we've got a high towering ball flight. This is the weaker lofted, obviously, of all the four clubs that you'll see me test today, which are all seven irons, and I'll put some uh, comparable lofts of all the clubs, all the four different sets, on screen for you now. But that's a super start with a T100. So next up is the T150, and all there seems to be is just a little bit more muscle behind the club face itself, and hopefully you can see that on the close-up images we've got. Um, but 
really not a huge amount of difference between the two and if you sat them side by side you'd struggle really for me to find the difference but what I'm hoping is that little bit of muscle maybe that little bit of extra strength of loft I'm expecting a little bit further in terms of distance carried but I'm more interested to know what the feel is like by comparison well that's an interesting one because, well that's right at the flag <laughs> Probably similar, but I don't know whether you noticed from the uh, shot, it was a little bit bottom groove, you can see, or I can see at least, that didn't quite get then, didn't quite catch that one as nice. So I'll reserve judgment until we've hit a few more shots. But my immediate feedback with that was that the fact that, well, first of all, it done well from the bottom grooves in terms of where it got to, but this idea of mixing those two sets up will be just hard to tell the difference visually in terms of your bag but i'm going to move on up into the bigger things now the player's distance sign is the next one up it's a t200 and we might as well stay in the same position and see if we can just sort of gauge yardage difference but i need a better strike with this one okay that's a different ball flight i mean what always interests me okay that's the first one that's carried to the green Real good strike, real good ball fight. The interesting thing for me, don't forget, so that's T200, by the way, and the interesting thing for me is the ball fight goes up, even though it's stronger lofted, it flies higher than the other two balls that we've hit so far. So once again, strength of loft is not always uh, a determining factor in ball flight, because obviously they've done a little bit different with that CG placement, and we're able to still get that high ball flight. Felt really good, but all of a sudden, you start to feel a little bit of difference and if feel is your thing then you notice the difference between what I've just hit in those 100s and 150s and there's a little bit more of a clickier sound let's say than you're getting from those first two but in terms of performance probably in my hands the best performing club however that T100 shot was pretty good let's move on to the big one I've just cut across that one, swing not as good, but what, again, is very visible. Yeah, that's not the best shot in terms of where it's ended up, but in terms of the feel out of the thing, I really like that, you know, and a bit of a surprise, and that's why you need to hit multiple shots, and that's what I'll carry on doing here this morning before I give you my overall verdict, but the feel out of that thing was really, really good. I got a softer feel than what I did out of the T200, and you would think in terms of the makeup there, very much exactly the same so clearly my shot with the t200 wasn't out the middle like it was out the t350 so first four shots overall impression super impressed with all four of these but i'm uh, already starting to feel there's perhaps one in here that uh, really is a standout product for me that's a golf shot that is i love it in that backdrop oh sit down ball Okay, so that's back to that T100, and interesting enough, and the weirdest thing for me is that the two best shots of it this morning, uh, and a few off camera and a bit of a warm up, is the T100 is absolutely flying for me in terms of I just love the ball flight. It's a ball flight that is, is high, but it's still penetrating at the same time. Ball seems to be sitting down as well and grabbing, so really impressive start with that T100. Great ball flies off these things. Oh, that's got a friendly bounce. <laughs> I pulled that one just a little bit down the left, but I got a friendly bounce in and I've virtually finished in exactly the same position. Yet again, for whatever reason, I didn't hit the T150 quite as good, but the interesting thing is on both shots that you've seen on camera so far with this thing, haven't hit the ball perfectly out the middle. I know that for a fact, and yet the ball has gotten there. So we'll take that positive as well. Let's keep moving on. Do you know what? I just had to have a quick glance down there, make sure I had the right club, and that's the interesting bit for me. We're up to the T200 now, and I'm still not seeing a massive change in profile, uh, which I take as a positive, to be honest with you, because like I keep going back to, and I'll speak in a bit more detail in a minute, is the idea of blending a set seems uh, a real obvious scenario here from Titleist. Oh, that's a golf shot. That's a golf shot. Let's see where this pitch is now. So again, we've got three balls on the green. That sat down nice, really good feel, really good um, ball flight. And 
I can say, I feel like there's maybe a little bit more forgiveness in there, but it's only sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a mentality thing, isn't it? Players distance iron. At this moment in time, those three irons have all landed in pretty much exactly the same place. This is the only club out of three where I notice a difference. That top line becomes really sort of visible. It goes into that game improvement category. It's still a neat profile, but you know, I must admit you can see the difference and you're supposed to see the difference. Got that heavy. This is, the, this is where these things help. Worst shot out of the lot. Oh, it's just got front edge to be honest with you. It was a worst shot, worst swing. Did okay, got there, helped me out, did everything it's supposed to do. Do you know what? There's four decent irons here, you know. Now, in today's video, all I'm going to be looking at is on-course performance and on my, like I said, first look, if you like, but I'd really like to get these inside on track, man, look at some dry ball data and see what separates these four in terms of performance, a relevance of what we quite see out here. Although I always think this is the key factor. These clubs are from our partner Hot Golf, and uh, I'm just going to whiz over and have a look at the price of each of these now on screen because at this point I don't know exactly what they are. So you're seeing them before I do. So let me know your thoughts. Where are they pitched in in terms of uh, tight list pricing? Are they competitive? Are they going to appeal to you? And let me know would you consider putting any of these four in the bag? Are you going to be testing any of these? And if you do so, make sure you give a little bit of a look at our partner at Hot Golf. So quickly, look in terms of on course performance those three balls like I said back there they looked as though they weren't separated by anything and they're not so three different lofts but all finishing the same place the ball by my feet interesting enough was the strongest lofted but the worst hit that t350 and it just goes to show forgiveness can only do so much but the performance of them three can't separate it oh, do you know what I can't believe this shot or the club I chose to finish on was the T100 because uh, I've not hit a bad shot with it to be honest with you. Slightly baffled as ever because not expecting that to be the best performance in my hands but it was just pure. Everything about it is really good. Great profile, great feel. That ticks the box of that player's iron but it's not necessarily the one that I think is a standout product amongst the four because to be honest with you I'd go down the other end and put that T350 in there because again maybe it's not been the best performing in my hands if you look at it purely based on where the ball is finished but I would also I always liken the bit of the sort of what happens when you don't hit the ball quite so good my swings with the t350 weren't quite as good but the ball still did incredibly well and that's where I think that's what I think forgiveness is and that's where I think Tyler's have got a real good iron set on their hands because that's the one that's going to appeal to the masses and the majority of average golfers and what they've done in my opinion this time around is they've improved the sound and the feel on a t200 and a t350 massively as well so take your pick but from my opinion any one of these four could go in your bag depending on what category you're in what type of club you want to see in your bag but Tyler's have done a fantastic job with every model cannot stress enough just how good these things are and you must make sure you go out and give them a go if you're considering buying new irons right now and don't forget our partner over at hot golf right thanks for watching I would think tomorrow night we've got the uh, utility irons to follow from Titleist as well. And from the shots I've hit so far, that's equally as impressive. Right, see you soon.